Transformation, the kind that leads you progressively to become more and more who, in essence, you truly are, is seldom easy. Our spiritual growth doesn't take place like a Walt Disney movie where you turn on the DVD and watch passively as everything changes from darkness into light. But you see, I believe there's a reason for this. I believe that all the hiccups that we come upon and all of the so-called hurdles and problems that arise in our lives are whispers, sometimes shouts, from our soul. They ask us to pay attention, to turn within, to take up the challenge of connecting at the very deepest levels with our authenticity and our creative power so that we can live our lives from there. What happens to participants on Kua Ramana is very curious. It's a process by which the unhelpful beliefs, emotional confusion, and excess pressures from life stressors become, bit by bit, alleviated, lifted off, just as the inessential fat is shed from the body. We're given an opportunity on the program to listen to the whispers of our soul as this happens, and the more we do, the more limiting patterns of behavior and negative thoughts lose their influence over us. Just as inessential fat, unnecessary and restricting to our body and our health, is lifted off without willpower or struggle, similarly, our restricting beliefs and life patterns rise to the surface to be released with surprising ease and grace. And in this way, we discover more who in truth we are and come to live more of our own lives from our core, by our own rules. When you're taking a walk, lying in the bath, or listening to music, I always think men do their best thinking when they're shaving or fishing, if they have beards, <laughs> and don't shave. When you're doing something that allows you, in other words, just to be, let yourself listen to whatever comes up from within you can hear some very, very interesting whispers. They may be about things that you would like to do that you've never thought were possible. Jot them down, whatever comes to you in a little notebook that no one but you ever sees. This practice weaves beautiful bridges between our authentic self and our outer personality, that is, the way we live from day to day. It's a fascinating experience one which restores energy when you feel you need it, one that opens your eyes to the richness of the world around you, one that can even make a mundane chore turn into a source of spiritual discovery and joy. Find out from within what feeds your essential being and brings your greatest joy and satisfaction. The things that you love, as well as what you may hate, Often we do things habitually that no longer have any meaning for us. Discovering what these things are and choosing to let go of them is every bit as important as becoming aware of the soul whispers about what we are called to do next. This is the way in which magnificent bridges get built, strand by strand, so, in time, our essential being and the outer life we live become one. There is nothing more satisfying.